planets in the solar system we revolve around the sun join us to learn about the different planets now sing along and have some fun my name is mercury i'm the second hottest planet the closest one to the sun a year on my surface is 88 days i'm the smallest but i'm lots of fun my name is venus I'm the hottest planet, but the second planet from the sun. I'm the brightest planet in our solar system, and I'm too hot for anyone. My name is Earth, and I'm the planet you live on, the third planet from the sun. I'm the only planet with organic life, so take care of me, cause we're all one. My name is Mars, I am red in color, I'm the fourth planet from the sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano named Olympus Mons. There are eight planets in the solar system, we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun My name is Jupiter I am covered in clouds I'm the fifth planet from the sun My giant red spot is a raging storm As for size, I'm the biggest one My name is Saturn I am brown in color, I'm the sixth planet from the sun. My outer rings are extremely thin, they're made of dust and icy chunks. My name's Uranus, I am blue in color, I'm the seventh planet from the sun. Humans have named me the icy planet because I am the coldest one. My name is Neptune, I am blue in color, I'm the 8th planet from the sun. I have too many storms in my atmosphere, and I'm the furthest planet from the sun. There are 8 planets in the solar system, we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun There are eight planets wait, in the solar wait, wait, system Wait, 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 You guys had your chance in the spotlight? It's time to talk about the dwarf planets in our solar system. Hit it, guys. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system And we revolve around the sun Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones My name is Ceres And I am a dwarf planet I'm the closest dwarf to the sun there's mysterious white spots on my rocky surface And I am the smallest one My name is Pluto I'm a dwarf planet And was the ninth planet from the sun I am one third water in the form of ice And have five moons that are lots of fun My name's Haumea I am over shape due to the fast rotations that I make. I take 285 years to orbit the sun because I am so far away. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper belt as far as planets were the smallest ones. I'm Maki Maki, I have no atmosphere, I was discovered in 2005. I am one of the reasons Pluto lost his status, so naturally we do not jive. My name is Ares, 
I'm more massive than Pluto, I am big but I'm lots of fun. 557 is the amount of years it takes me to revolve around the sun. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt, as far as planets were the smallest ones. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. I'm the Crab Pulsar, a young neutron star. I'm Calvera, an isolated neutron star that's far. My name's Bela X1, I'm a neutron star as well. Sirius B, that's me, a small white dwarf as you can tell. I'm EBLMJ0555-57 AB. My name's Trappist 1, an ultra cool red dwarf star in sight. I'm Proxima Centauri, a main sequence red dwarf star. I am your son, a yellow dwarf that isn't too far. Alpha Centauri A is an orange star, you see. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star, that's me. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. VFTS-352, contact binary 1 and 2, composed of two very hot brain massive stars that orbit each other, it's true. My name is Pollux, a red giant star here. Arcturus is a red giant star, I hope I made that clear. R136A1 is a wolf riot star thus far. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Rigel is here, a blue-white supergiant you can see. I am Beetlejuice and I'm a red supergiant in class. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergiant star with mass. I'm U.I. Scutai, the biggest red supergiant this far. Join us to sing the chorus, now get your head out of the stars. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. We're all stars, we're all stars, compared to each other by size. You can see a lot of us when you look into the night sky. We're all stars, we're all stars, our colors vary, you know. We're made mostly of hydrogen and helium, here we go. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am Ceres, I am a dwarf planet. Maki Maki's a dwarf planet as well, but didn't plan it. I am Haumea, a dwarf planet in this group. Pluto is a dwarf, but used to be a planet, it's true. Aries is a dwarf planet in this mix. The Earth's moon is where your eyes are transfixed. Mercury is here, an official planet. I'm the planet of Mars, I'm sure you all know this. I'm planet Venus, my size you may think is large. Planet Earth is next, and the humans think that they're in charge. Neptune's a planet in our solar system, wow! Planet Uranus is here, I wish I could take a bow. Planet Saturn has rings, if you think I am big. Check out Planet Jupiter, I hope you can dig. This is a 
size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. I am the sun, a yellow dwarf that isn't far. I am Sirius A, a main sequence star. My name is Pollux, a red giant star, it's true. Arcturus is a red giant star, this I thought you knew. I'm Aldebaran, a red giant star, that's me. Hi, I'm Rigel, a blue-white super giant, you see. I am Beetlejuice, and I'm a red super giant in class. I'm in Tories, I'm a red super giant that won't last. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hyper giant star. I'm U.Y. Scutai, the biggest red super giant this far. I am the Milky Way Galaxy, and you live in me. Now let's all sing the chorus together with this is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. This is a size comparison of objects in our universe. We'll start with the smallest and go to the largest, most well-known objects we know, of course. We are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measured by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. I am Ceres. I am felt as the largest object in the asteroid belt. I am Orcus, to be direct. I'm a trans-Neptunian object. I'm known as Sedna, if you can stand it. I'm a large minor planet. I am Quora, you may respect as a trans Neptunian object. My name's kind of funny, it's Maki Maki. I am a dwarf planet, yeah, that's me. Haumea is my name, I'm six in line with fame, a dwarf planet. Yeah, we're not all the same. My name is Eris. I am a dwarf planet. The most massive dwarf in your system yet. You know me as Pluto. I was a planet, but now dwarf, you know. I hope the IAU puts me back as a planet, though. Who's Kepler-37B? Wait a minute, that's me! An extrasolar planet that you now see. I am Mercury, the second hottest as I'm spun. I'm in your solar system, closest planet to your sun. Come visit this planet so far to learn all about Mars. I'm the tenth largest planet, but not really in charge. My name is Venus, for what that is worth. I'm almost the same size as your beautiful Earth. I'm the Earth on this planetary run. Please take care of me. I'm the planet you all live on. Proxima Centauri B, I'm the planet you see. An exoplanet in a habitable zone, you degree. Have you heard about me? Kepler 10B is my name. I have a rocky surface, I'm amazing, some do claim. My surface is a furnace, I'm Coro 7B. 489 light years from the Earth, that's me. Neptune centers Earth size and my atmosphere's methane, hydrogen, and helium. And I'm the most distant from our burning sun. I'm Uranus, the planet seven from the sun, yet 
I'm blue with 13 rings, I'm sure we have met. You know me as Saturn with rings, this is true. I have the most moons in the solar system, now 82. I'm Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. I am the fifth planet from the sun. I'm an extrasolar planet, this is 51 Pegasi B. Some think my atmosphere contains water that we may see. I am a planet, my name's Gliss 876D. An extrasolar planet up in this mix, that's me. I'm named HD 100,546 B. I am designated the largest known planet you see. We are some planets, all different in size. Here's our planetary size comparison for you live. We'll look at each planet, measured by their radius here. There are so many planets that will appear. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm Segway 2, I'm a dwarf spheroidal galaxy situated in the constellation of Aries. My radius is 110.89 light years, they say. Discovered in 2009 by Sloan Digital Sky Survey. My name's Messier 32, a dwarf early type galaxy, am I? 2.65 million light years from Earth, I fly. I was discovered in the year of 1749. I am 6,500 light years across, and that's just fine. I'm small, Magellanic Cloud, or Nubicula Minor, a dwarf irregular. Galaxy, there's nothing finer. I'm near the Milky Way, but not a stone's toss. My diameter's about 7,000 light years across. I'm Triangulum, a spiral galaxy, you see. Sometimes I'm referred to as a pinwheel galaxy. I was discovered officially in 1764. I'm 50,000 light years across. This info is now yours. I'm the Whirlpool Galaxy, also called Messier 51. I'm a spiral galaxy, my arms reach out while well, I'm spun. I was first discovered in the year of 1773. 76,000 light years is the distance across me. I'm the Milky Way galaxy, a gigantic spiral disk with a bright central bulge that you can't miss. I'm 100,000 light years, your sun is 8 kpc from my center. On what is known as Orion's arm, it's a real bender. I'm Hope's object. A non-typical galaxy of the type known as a ring galaxy, as you can see. 121,000 light years across, bigger than the Milky Way, discovered by author Hogan, 1958. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big. Of course, now here we come. I'm the Cartwheel Galaxy, a lenticular and ring galaxy, discovered by Fritz Wicke in 1941. I'm 150,000 light years across, my beauty is number one. I am M101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, discovered by Pierre Michon in 1781, if you please. I'm 170,000 light years across, nearly twice the size of the Milky Way, now that's quite a toss. I'm the Andromeda Galaxy, a spiral galaxy, I say, in the nearest major galaxy to your Milky Way. My name stems from the constellation of Andromeda. I'm 220,000 light years across, I'll be seeing ya. I'm NGC 6872, also known as Condor Galaxy. I'm a large part spiral galaxy, I'm sure you'd agree. Discovered in 1835 by John Herschel, the boss. I'm very large at 700,000 light years across. I'm the giant temple galaxy, a disrupted part spiral, you see. I was discovered in the year of 2018. I'm 10 times the size of the Milky Way that's extremely large, my friend. I'm 1 million light years long from end to end. 
I'm IC 1101, a super giant elliptical galaxy. I'm one of the largest known galaxies found in your universe. You see, discovered in the year of 1790 by John Herschel. Six million light years across what stars I am full. There's over 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe that we might see. Let's look at this galaxy size comparison from small to big, of course, now here we come. Here's a theory of how the Earth was formed, so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played. Almost five billion years ago, there was only our sun, which was a newborn star surrounded by dust was how it begun. Time this dust began to slam into one another due to gravity pulling it in as it smashed into each other. The planet that we live on was made by space dust and rocks that formed Earth over millions of years into an orb, not a box. They say four and a half billion years ago, Earth was a fireball. That's right, with surface temperatures over 2,000 degrees and Fahrenheit. At this point, there was no air, just carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and water vapor making it hot and toxic when the earth began our boiling ball of liquid rock was slammed by a young planet this planet's name was Thea it was the size of Mars as you see it the blast wave from this collision sent trillions of tons of debris which over time was pulled back in to circle the earth by gravity this giant ring around the earth was made of red hot dust and rock eventually formed our moon we see two a shot. Let's speed up millions of years to see how water formed. About 3.9 billion years ago, Earth was hit by a meteor storm. Inside each meteor, scientists think there were small crystals. Each crystal held tiny droplets of water inside their shells. Over the 20 million years that these meteors fell, pools of water started to form on the cooling crust. I do tell, no water on our Earth is billions of years. And may have traveled millions of miles to be consumed by you and me Let's speed up hundreds of millions of years to find the earth covered in water With tiny islands peeking out while the core remain much hotter This hot core pushes molten rock up and out the earth's new crust When the lava cools it forms the land we know as it builds and thrusts Over time these land masses start to collide and eventually form our continents we know today still transform here's a theory of how the earth was formed so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played how did earth get its atmosphere we have today there are three basic atmospheric hypotheses still used to this day the first atmosphere was made up of hydrogen and helium gas these molecules move so fast they escape earth's gravity into space at last the second was made of lots of volcanoes releasing water as steam and carbon dioxide, hydrogen, sulfate, ammonia, and methane, science agreed. The third and current atmosphere is made up of this. You will see plants take in carbon dioxide and give up oxygen to you and me. All animals take in oxygen and give up CO2. Also volcanoes and burning stuff produces this like fossil fuels. We burn too many fossil fuels and have too many. to change the way we consume and create energy if you start to make changes now our planet will change you will see please do your part to save the earth to improve your future now we're capable of change go make us all proud here's a theory of how the earth was formed so scientists would say this interstellar journey will show you the role gravity had played you're so smart and important so believe in what you can do make a change and set the stage in earth's future for you here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see asteroid meteoroid and comets and some wood stages between these different celestial bodies are important to learn we're all part of this universe let's give these space rocks their turn i'm an asteroid also called a minor planet to some a rocky airless 
this remnant left over from our solar system's formation. You can find a lot of asteroids orbiting our sun. Between Mars and Jupiter within the asteroid belt I run. I can range in size from about 329 miles down to 33 feet small. I've been here for a while. I'm made up of different kinds of rocks and some have clays and metals such as nickel and iron found in frying pans or kettles. Here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see. Asteroid, meteoroid, and comets and some with stages between. These different celestial bodies are important to learn. We're all part of this universe. Let's give these space rocks their turn. I'm a meteoroid. I'm smaller than an asteroid you see. My size can range from a grain of dust to a small asteroid. Yeah, that is me. I orbit the sun. I'm made of minerals called silicates, which is silicone and oxygen. I'm glad that you're learning this. I'm also made of heavier metals like nickel and and iron. Let's go explore a little more about what other names I can become. If I enter Earth's atmosphere, you'll see a bright tail of light. If this happens and I vaporize, I'm called a meteor, that's right. Some call me a shooting or falling star. I'm only called a meteor if I burn up completely, it's bizarre. But if I make it through the atmosphere and reach the Earth's surface, my name changes to meteorite. That is important to learn this. I'm a comet, which is dust mixed with frozen gas when fully frozen. I'm about the size of a small town through space I do pass. I'm made of ices like water, carbon dioxide, ammonia, and methane mixed with cosmic dust from our solar system when it began. When I get close to the sun, I heat up and spew dust and gas. This forms a glowing tail that stretches away from the sun as I pass. A cloud forms around my nucleus from my Vaporizing ice, this is called a coma It can expand 50,000 miles and it looks nice My tail that form can expand past 600,000 miles Thank you for learning about all of us I hope we made you smile Here's the difference between these space rocks that you will see Asteroid, meteoroid, and comets And some with stages between These different celestial bodies are important to learn We're all part of this universe Let's give these space rocks their turn This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages In the evolution of a star and all its basic changes I'm a molecular cloud, I'm a type of nebula I have a high density and a very low temperature This combination creates a gas molecular hydrogen That's primarily what I'm made of along with cosmic dust within when the force of gravity exceeds the outward push of gas the pressure is so great that i can't help it and start to collapse which is caused from a shockwave from a near exploding star or when two molecular clouds collide now isn't that bizarre when the gravity is too strong i break apart into smaller clouds each cloud is a star's beginning in which i am very proud protostars are the name of the clouds that do break free let me introduce a protostar that was a part of me Hello there, I'm the beginning of any kind of star Let me introduce myself to you, I am a protostar My core is not hot enough for fusion to occur To achieve that level of stardom, that process is a chore The first thing I do when I break free from my molecular cloud I start to spin until I form this disc around me you see now as the Rotates, I produce a strong magnetic field Pulling gas and dust into my center core as I reveal The infalling gas releases a kinetic energy Creating heat, increasing the temperature in the center of me At this point I can transform into a hydrogen burning star Which is when the nuclear fusion starts in a protostar This is when I cross over to stage 3 called Titori We play 
our different roles in the star formation you see. This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. I'm a Titori star now, also a pre-made sequence star. My job's to clear away the dust and gas and send it really far. My stellar winds create bipolar outflows that decrease my mass. Till I'm a main sequence star, my center burning nuclear gas. Now I'm a main sequence star, now just like the sun you know. Four billions of years I will burn throughout my light show. Converting hydrogen to helium is how fusion exists. It wants to blow me apart but has a hard time doing this. Cause of gravity of equal power pushing me in. I'm able to stay burning since the fusion did begin. There are many different kinds of stars throughout the universe. Go learn about them you know how they are birthed. This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. This is the stellar evolution of a star in the universe. A nebula is the beginning of a star before its birth. The star names you will encounter are some basic different stages in the evolution of a star and all its basic changes. I'm a star called the sun. I'm the center of our solar system. Part of me, 
the Milky Way name came from a Greek goddess named Hera Who spilled milk across the sky, Greeks believed in that era When you look at the darkest sky on a clear summer night And you see the image of the Milky Way clear in sight Remember you can only see a small part of me Called the galactic core in my galaxy Astronomers can't look at me from outside the galaxy Because I'm so massive and you don't have the technology Based on other galaxies we see outside of our own Is why we conclude that our galaxy spiraled as I'm shown When you look at a side view of the Milky Way here You see me as a flat disc with a bulge center I appear I am the Milky Way Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I was born about 13.6 billion years ago That's a hypothesis given from astronomers though I am 100,000 light years in diameter That's an estimate given by NASA though they can't be sure Your solar system's this tiny dot that you see right here Astronomers think that Orion's first where your system appears Your system's guess to be 25,000 light years From the galactic center of the Milky Way shown here About 230 million years is what your system takes To orbit around the Milky Way center's cool shape 200 to 400 billion stars live in me That's an estimate only based on our astronomy Over 100 billion planets might exist in me Maybe someday you can see them in our galaxy I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy your solar system's just a tiny part of me Let's take a look at all the parts that you think I'm made of We'll start by looking down at the galaxy above The galactic core's the rotational center you can't see Because of the interstellar dust it cannot be studied It's believed the center is a supermassive black hole When astronomers find out more then I will let you know You'll notice the galactic bar also the long bar There's the three KPC arms There is a near and there's a far Then we have the Sagittarius And the Norma arms Then the Orion Spur Where your solar system spins on The Scutum Centaurus And Perseus arm Are two major spirals And full of the galaxy's charm Finally the outer arm And the new outer arm Are the final spirals I will mention in this song Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Look in the night sky to see a part of me I am the Milky Way Galaxy Your solar system's just a tiny part of me Whether it's day or night When the earth spins on its axis Ocean level 
will stay the same Then the moon's gravitational pull creates the tides that we see change 238,900 miles from the Earth Is the distance measured when the first spaceship landed on my turf The reason you see one half of my surface all the time Is because my rotation's the same speed as the Earth taught in this rhyme It takes 27 Earth days for me to rotate once around There is no air on my surface so you won't hear any sound On the moon, Earth's natural satellite I rotate the same speed as the Earth and I'm a natural source of light On the moon my appearance is gray and white You only see one half of my surface Whether it's day or night My name is Jupiter The biggest planet you see No planet in our solar system is
From our sun you see, my name is Mercury. Nothing orbits faster than me. The smallest planet with the second hottest degree. My name is Mercury. No one is smaller than me. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. On the fourth planet from our burning sun. And the second smallest planet in our solar system. I have the tallest mountain named Olympus Mons. It's the biggest volcano in our whole system. Phobos and Demos are my two moons. Phobos is larger of the orbiting two. It circles me three times a day and that's true. But it takes 30 hours for Demos to loop. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. I'm 142 million miles away from the sun and its heat and that's why I'm chilly. When you're on my surface and you probably freeze. I am a cold negative 81 degrees. 24 hours and 37 minutes long. It's a full day on Mars so you've learned in this song. 687 is the amount of days it takes to orbit the sun for my year to take place. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars. Let's visit the planet of Mars. There is so much to learn on the planet of Mars. The red planet in a billion stars. Come and sing along about the planet of Mars.
I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun 243 Earth days is how long it takes for me to orbit the sun That makes just one of my days I'm 900 degrees, yeah that's Fahrenheit I'm the hottest planet in the solar system, that's right The sun sets in my east and comes up in my west Due to retrograde rotation, I spin backwards the best I'm the third brightest object to the naked eye From the planet of Earth when you look up in the sky I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun Carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds Is what makes up my atmosphere And for this I am very proud Volcanoes, mountains, craters And some big lava plains Are what make up my bumpy surface And my clouds make no rain I was named Venus after the goddess of love The Romans gave me my name Due to my brightness above I am Venus, I'm the second planet from the sun And I'm the slowest rotating one Of all the planets in our solar system Now learn and have some fun
billion miles is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks Sure. 
Research Institute led by Mark Boo. We are the first scientists in the world to ever notice me. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt and my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help. As 20, 15, 13, 64, 72, 1 is what I was provisionally designated, but not much fun. They officially nicknamed me with the name MK2. I'll tell you more about me after the chorus you'll hear is through. A Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. It's estimated my diameter is 100 miles. That's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers. I'm 1300 times more faint than Dwarf Maki Maki. When a telescope gets closer, they will see me more clearly. I'm 13,000 miles from my dwarf planet, so bright. And I'm called a moon because I'm a natural satellite. Maki Maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots. Now they think it was me making those warm dots. A Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Maki Maki. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. A Maki Maki, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate. I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. On November 14th in 2003, the Palomar Observatory is who discovered me. The names of astronomers are Michael Brown, Chad Trujillo, and Dave Rabinowitz are how I was found. My name Sedna means Inuit goddess of the sea, which derived from a young arctic woman's grim Eskimo story. I'm a large minor planet, that is what I will be, until I meet the criteria for dwarf status, you see. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate, I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. My distance from the sun in my furthest orbit is about 84 billion miles, I barely see it. If you saw the sun from that distance you wouldn't squint, it would be so small it could be blocked with the head of a pin. I'm the second reddest object in our solar system, the first reddest is Mars, yeah I am second to him. I am three fourths the size of our dwarf planet Pluto, and I'm believed to my name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate. I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. The time I'm thought to take to orbit our sun once is 10,500 Earth years. Yeah, that is a long run. It's predicted the last time I was closest to our sun. Earth was coming out of its last ice age. Now that isn't fun. I live in the coldest known region of our solar system. It's minus 240. Celsius where I'm from. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate. I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. My name is Sedna, a dwarf planet candidate. I'm in the furthest reaches of our solar system in orbit. My name is Eris. I am a dwarf planet. The furthest north from the sun the humans found yet On January 5th in 2005 The Caltech Observatory had brought me to life A team led by astronomer Michael Brown The biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice But you'd have to visit me to make sure that's perfect 
precise In 2006 the IAU named me And gave me dwarf status Yeah, officially My name is Eris I am a dwarf planet The furthest north from the sun The humans found yet Minus 390 is my average degree If you made it to my surface Then you'd probably freeze The snow me is my one natural satellite sea Lawlessness and it is always orbiting me I'm 27% more massive than your Pluto Yeah, Pluto is slightly larger than I am, you know I take 557 Earth years to orbit the sun When I orbit, I leave the Kuiper belt on my run My name is Ares I am a dwarf planet The furthest north from the sun The humans found yet My name's Ame, yeah, I am the third dwarf from the sun. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations I'm spun. My name's Ame, and there is Dibbe on who discovered me. It was either Caltech or a Spanish observatory. My first nickname was Santa before the IAU named me. In 2008, they changed me to dwarf status officially. Yeah. I'm spun. I have two moons, Hayaka and Namaka, orbiting me. Namaka is the smaller, Hayaka is large and icy. 3.9 hours makes just one day on my rocky surface. I take 285 Earth years to make one orbit. My surface is believed to have a thin but icy coating. Yeah, I'm unique to other dwarf planets I am gloating. I'm a Fun.